Hey guys, Storm2021 here. I hope we're all staying safe and doing well in the world. I've got another nanobot build for you today for your viewing pleasure. It's MimiQ NenBPM number 52. It's practically the uh, dark, creepy uh, wannabe of Pikachu. And uh, according to the Pokedex lore, if you try to lift underneath uh, MimiQ's rag, you, it is said to bring your untimely demise. But uh, what we're going to be doing will not be our untimely demise. It's going to be a proper unbox, unbox and opening like we always do here. Here with my little unbox and builds. So again, uh, wow, a lot of green pieces here. Definitely fitting of uh, Mimikyu. And of course the instructions also has uh, the pieces that we require. So before I get started on this build, I'm going to do what I always do. I'm going to get the pieces together. I thought I'd show you guys how many yeah, bags of the uh, bricks I have to deal with. Four of them, but this one right here has the most in them. So expect it to be a really big build. So, uh, according to the box, it's 200 pieces with a difficulty level of 3. I'm going to be here for a bit, I believe. It has taken me a while, but I managed to sort out all the pieces that I needed. We've got some uh, orange here, which I believe are for the cheeks. We've also got some blacks and some browns, which will uh, really uh, different differentiate uh, parts of Mimikyu. And of course, we've also got the uh, many, many, many pieces of cream yellow here on the table. And if you guys want to know how many there are, uh, I can definitely tell you that there is 32 by 3s, which are these pieces right here, at least 27 of the T's, 29 1 by 3s, and at least 29, yeah, sorry, uh, 19 L's right here. So it is quite a lot, but I am up. For the challenge so I'm gonna get started on step one and by the look of things hey I'm gonna have my, my, I'm gonna have a puzzle on my hand guys I'll see you guys in a minute okay I don't know how but I somehow managed to complete step one of the build and uh, uh, where do I where do I begin with this okay uh, so what I did was I started off with the two by four here at the back, sorry if it's uh, not easy to see. Then I started working around it with a 1x6 uh, black right next to it. And then next to that, uh, from left to right, a 1x4 black, 1x2 black, then 1x3 black. Then I did a little black L right next uh, underneath the black 2x4. And then I also started to uh, slowly build around it with a 1x3 black next to the 2x4, then another black L next to the 1x3. And then once the L was completed, I did a 1x6 uh, black uh, times 3 in a sort of like um, one, one to the right, one to the left, one to the right. Then I did the uh, three black Ls. I'm sorry if this is not... So uh, easy for you to uh, see, guys. Then I did a black T. I did not realize that I needed one until I uh, checked the instructions again. Turns out that I did. Glad I got it. And uh, then I did the last of the black L's. Uh, of course, there was also a black 1x2 next to it. And I am glad that step is done. Because now I have got to uh, get started on step 2. And, like, last step... Well... I think I know how to begin, so I'm going to get back to you guys on that. Okay, I'm just done with step two, and let me tell you, it was a bit of a uh, difficult uh, step, especially with uh, the first step. So what I did was I did a triangle uh, cream yellow on this end right here, and then I worked backwards using the... Uh, pieces from the first step, the previous step, to uh, work around. And I just went around uh, in a complete circle, uh, trying to make sure that the pieces uh, stuck together, using uh, cream 1x4s, 2x4s, cream squares, more T's and squares, 1x2s, and uh, the lot. I just had to make sure that the um, all the pieces were correctly in position. Uh, I also were... Uh, 
as you can probably tell from looking underneath it, it doesn't look uh, like it is... It doesn't look like the best uh, securely built um, step, but it uh, it's what I had to work with, and I'm just hoping that uh, nothing... Well, that it doesn't uh, start to fall apart. So I'm going to see what I can do in step three and try to uh, hopefully, well, hopefully this uh, little issue that I've got will be resolved. Okay, I've just completed step three. Uh, what I did was I started out at the front of Mimikyu's body. I've done a one by two, then a one by three, then I went uh, counterclockwise. I've done a one by three here, and of course a one by four right behind the one by two. Then I did the two by three. Then the cream yellow uh, L's, followed by a, one, a two by fours, then a one by three here at the back, followed by two cream L's, and then finally the two by three cream yellow. So uh, still a little bit of concern, especially uh, underneath here. I think it can be resolved if I moved on to uh, step four or double check the instructions. Uh, make sure that I've got uh, my pieces I think I might have got my pieces a little bit mixed up, so, uh, just bear me one second, guys. Yeah, it was me, I accidentally, uh, there was a little gap, uh, there wasn't supposed to be a gap on, uh, step one, so, uh, that step, uh, issue is now resolved, and now I'm going to move on to step four. Step four is now done, and I still just, well, I was a little bit upset about step two, it was mostly my fault, it was, uh, I just did not, um, double check my pieces, uh, when I did them, but I'm glad the, the, uh, problem is resolved, and this is the end result of step four. So, I started off with a cream yellow 2x3, and then worked my way counterclockwise again, with a 2x2, two two, uh, two 1x3s, one there, and then another there, then a cream, cream yellow L, followed by, uh, another 2 by 3 uh, two by two, then a two by three, then uh, another uh, L again with the uh, two, uh, with the one by threes again. So that's it for step four. I'm now going to move on to step five of the build. Okay, this is the end of step five. Uh, not much uh, in terms of uh, building up more detail. Uh, just uh, one by two, then a one by three here at the front. That's how I started this uh, this step. Then I did uh, one by three behind uh, the. 1x2, then a 1x4 next to it. Uh, right here, I did 2x3, and then uh, practically uh, on the back here, what I did was uh, the same as the front. So, yeah, just uh, just a simple uh, step of what you do at the front is what you do at the back, and of course, the same with the side to side. So, I'm now going to move on to step 6 of the build, where uh, by the look of the instructions, I've got uh, some weird spooky eyes to put on. Okay, I've just done step six, and yes, I was correct. We've got some weird, spooky eyes here on the torso of Mimikyu. So that's where I uh, started off with the black one by twos here, uh, and also in between them was a cream one by two, and again with the same on the sides and uh, next to the uh, black one by two. Sorry. After that, I did on both sides cream one by twos. And then one by threes um, on top of them, and of course on the side, and at the back here, two by three and a two by two cream orange. Uh, and of course, my well, what I did was I started at the front and then worked my way around back, which uh, is a pretty good method for me. Yeah, I'm not sure about um, everyone else, but if you do have uh, your own methods, please do share in the comments. Um, if you do say uh, use glue of some kind, I'd say maybe not, because the, from what I know, uh, the glue melts plastic, and I'd rather not have uh, a melted set of nanoblocks. But uh, for now, I'm going to move on to step seven. Okay, I've just done step seven. It was uh, pretty easy. What I did was use the cream teas, uh, first of all, on the, um, on the front of the body, as you can obviously tell with the eyes there, and I then worked my way backwards, uh, working on both ends, cream 2 by 3s right here at the f uh, on top of the uh, first cream tee that I'd done, then cream 1 by 3s on both ends, uh, then what I did was the cream tees, both ends again, and 2 by 3s So that was pretty uh, simple to do, so now I'm going to go on to step 8 of the build. And this step is now done. It's practically the same that uh, what I've been doing with the uh, other steps uh, so far. 
Um, what I did at the front was uh, the cream teas and then the cream L. Uh, same process at the back. It was completely mirrored if you do a full 180 of the model. Yep, and hopefully if you can see on your screen and also tell uh, with what I've done, that is the end result. Now I'm going to move on to the next step, but this step, it's um, pretty easy to do. It's practically... Uh, I'll do it uh, whilst the camera is rolling. One 2x4 right here, then a 1x4 followed by a 1x3. And what I've got to do, well what you got to do as well, if you're building this model, uh, you start off right here. And normally whenever I do this, it's uh, <laughs> practically uh, difficult to do. 1 by 4, here we go, and then finally, the 1 by 3 right here. And that is it. The body of Mimikyu is done. We haven't worked on his tail, which I believe we will do um, momentarily, but for now I'm going to uh, get started on step 10, which it's uh, Mimikyu's uh, creepy head. So I'm going to get started on the creepy head. And there we go, this is the first part of step 10. Uh, so practically what it was, was a cream tea. Uh, lots of it, about three I believe, yeah about three. Uh, so what I did was a cream tea here, then my way around it. I did the cream L, popped in another cream tea in between those two. Did the cream two by threes, and then at the back, cream L, and then the cream tea. And I'm glad that step is done, so now I'm going to get started on the second part of this step. Okay, I've now done step uh, part 2 of step 10, and I must admit, now this was the uh, most trickiest uh, bit uh, that I've ever done. And, well, not the most trickiest, but uh, partly tricky. But I'm glad that it's over and done with. What I did was, I started off with a black 1 by 2 and then I worked my way around... Um, so using the uh, previous step, uh, sort of like uh, a, a foundation for uh, how I should approach the next uh, this step. So I went around, I did um, the cream 1x2, the cream T, I also did the 2x3 uh, here, and as I was doing this, I was also putting pieces from step 1 underneath, so that I knew where they would go. I don't have the um, bay, uh, the uh, stand where uh, ev that uh, others might use for their builds, but I know um, I feel I feel a little bit more comfortable trying to do it this way, so that I don't um, mess up the build uh, in uh, in retrospective. But uh, anyway, I'm now going to move on to step three of the build. Okay, I am now done with step three of Mimikyu's head. Uh, what I did was I started off with a little black one by one, then did the cream L, and started with the, well, next worked with the um, orange T's. Uh, one right here and one right there, I'll get to that one in a second. Uh, after that, I went round in a uh, clockwise manner with a cream two by two, then an L, a one by three, Followed by a 1 by 4, another L, a 2 by 3, the other orange T right there, a black 2 by 1, and then a cream 1 by 3 here, 1 by 3 black, and then another 1 by 3 cream right there. Now, I know you're probably going to think, well, doesn't this look uh, a little bit off? But actually, it's, it was all part of Mimikyu's uh, original design, and it's starting to come together now. So I'm going to get started on the next step, uh, step four of the build. And there we go, this is the end result of step four. And what I did was I started off with the one by four and the two by three here, and then I went counterclockwise uh, on this on this step. So the orange triangle, uh, the, sorry, the orange T, uh, followed by cream two by twos and one by threes, an L, another two by three, two by four, an L again, and the last orange T with a 1x2 here. So that's it for step 4 of Mimikyu's uh, head. I'm going to get started on step 5. Okay, I've done the next step, step 5. So um, what I did was I've done the black 1x2s here at the front. And then in between a cream 2x3 followed by the L's on both sides. Another 2x3 on the left and right hand side. T 
T's on the ends, and then finally at the back, a 1x2 and a 2x3. The head is coming along rather nicely, and it is going to look even better with step 6. Okay, and this is the end result of step 6. Uh, what I did, again, the black pieces, I started off with the black 2x2s, then in the middle was the uh, 2 by 3 cream, then on each side, cream 1x3s, and then 1x2s uh, right next to them. On top of the 1x3s was the cream L's, and then at the back here, a 2x4 a and a 1x3. So we're nearly coming to the, well, we're coming to the end of building the head of Mimikyu. So hopefully, uh, with step 7, we're going to get to that step. And this is the end result of uh, part 7 of step 10. I should be saying parts more instead of steps. I'll uh, get used to it uh, in a minute. So again, uh, started off at the front with the 2x3s and the same process again at the back. I hope I've done that correctly. Yes, I have. Then 4 T creams here were on both ends. Two were uh, going inside of the head. And then, um, well, all of them going into the inside of the head, really. And then finally, the 2x3s on the side of Mimikyu's head. So that is it for part 7. It's time for me to uh, go on to part 8 of this step. Okay, I have just completed this part of the uh, step. And I started off with the uh, 2x3 here at the front. Then cream teas on both sides followed by 2x2s on top of the T's right here, as you can see. Then at the back, I had, well, I did a 2x3 and a 2x2 here, ready to form the base of Mimikyu's skull, which I believe is part of the, uh, well, is the next part of the step. Okay, so what I did was, not only did I do part 9, but I also did part 10. So for, for part 9, I started off with the uh, 2x4, then at the back, I've done the cream L's and the 1x3 here at the back. And underneath, uh, I also did a 2x3. Uh, actually made a little bit of a boo-boo from the last step. Instead of the uh, square uh, piece at the back, it was supposed to be a 2x1, uh, uh, but uh, I resolved that easily. Uh, for part 10 of the step, I did... 2x3 here at the top, and 2x4, so we're now going to start on uh, Mimikyu's ears. So I'm going to get uh, right to it. Okay, I've just done part 11 of the uh, step. It was quite easy. All it was was a 2x2 two two, uh, on the left-hand side here, and that, uh, on the right-hand side, it was black 2x2s, two and underneath, right here at the back, was a 1x2. No, you can't see it because it's... Uh, uh, black uh, black piece, but uh, it is definitely a 1x2 there. And right next to uh, those three black pieces was a nice cream 1x2, which is the end of part 11 of this step. Now it's going to be the remaining parts. Um, part 12 on to part 17. That's right, so I'm going to go through it uh, part by part. So it's going to be on this ear. For the first part, part 12, it's a cream 2x2, two two, and it goes on nicely, right, like that. Part 13, cream 1x2, gotta make sure that it is facing, well that it is to, goes on like this, so that it builds up like a stairway. And part 14, same as the last part, put it on top like that, and... Part 15 is going to be the tips of the ears, which is the black pieces. So, a black 1x2 right here. And then, black uh, part 16 and 17, it's practically one of each black 1x1. One one. Gotta do, do it at the back of the ear. You know, so that it has that uh, weird, spooky tip to the... Um, to uh, give the character uh, his unique uh, look. And here we go. And that's it. Ah! That's Minikyu's head. I <laughs> uh, hope I didn't scare you with that. But uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to uh, put on the head and uh, show you guys the end result. Hopefully, I will uh, get it done uh, correctly. And this is the main body for Mimikyu. 
As you can see, he's got his uh, spooky ears, uh, the very creepy mat ask well, the creepy rugged uh, head part, and what looks like the um, the actual eyes of Mimikyu. I'm not entirely sure about the lore. But uh, anyway, we are nearly done. All we have to do for Mimikyu is his little brown tail. It's, yeah, it's kind of like uh, Pikachu's, but uh, this is uh, step 11. We're going to do it live on camera, and we're going to do it, uh, I'm going to show you guys how it's done. So, first of all, for the first part of step 1, to build the tail, we take the two brown 1x2s, and then do it like this. So, we have now got uh, what looks like the base of the tail done. Next up, on part 2 of the step, we carry on where we left off. And we add, yeah, it's rather tricky to do it uh, with one hand. There we go. That's the first part of the step done. And then we add, yeah, like I said, really tricky to do. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to uh, pause it for you guys uh, so that I can actually get it fixed. Well, I've uh, managed to get the tail uh, sorted. Uh, so practically, uh, what we did, uh, what I did was the uh, three brown one by twos, a one by two were uh, with one end connected to another, and then uh, the uh, one by twos are built onto each other, uh, onto each other, and then a one by three uh, on top of the on uh, one side of the one by two with the other one by three built on top, and that is Mimikyu's little tail. So what we're gonna do is we are going to attach the tail onto the body. And that is it. Mimikyu is fully built and ready to try and defeat his, his uh, mortal nemesis, Pikachu. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, very uh, fun, well, fun build of uh, Mimikyu. One, practically uh, one of my challenging builds uh, that I've ever done. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please do hit the uh, like button. Please follow the channel if you uh, want to help support a uh, little channel like mine. And I hope to see you guys real soon. Happy gaming!